Try something. Let's what? let's say it at the same time. I'll say "Welcome to," and then we'll both say the name of the okay. show. Okay. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Welcome to Drinking, Drinking Broettes. Good morning. Wow. Good afternoon. Good evening. Whatever time you decide, whatever time you have a little second to yourself to yeah. listen to the show, it could be at any time. I really for hope us. for your sake it's in the bathtub, a bubble bath Oof. with like wine, a lot of wine, mm-hmm. enjoying one of those bath bombs. That's great. And just listening to us and yeah. laughing at our expense. <laughs> at our ridiculousness. Yeah. Um, and look, I was thinking on the way over here too, like I think initially you guys are not going to like us because we are programmed as women. <laughs> Jesus. Come on. Get your fucking shit together. Oh, goodness. Oh. God, <laughs> how many shows have we done? And I, I cannot know, okay. fucking get it's it together. Okay. It's life. Be professional. Anyways, um, you guys are not going to like us at first because we're programmed as women to initially not like other women, right? Like at the very, um, the very beginning, right? I can. And then I don't we think need we're to program, prove- but I think unfortunately it's a society thing. Yeah, programmed by society. Yeah, and robots. So <laughs> and birds and men <laughs> and the patriarchy. Yeah, no, <laughs> um, and the pope, but. Um, and we have to kind of prove ourselves to each other, right? Uh-huh. Always. And even if you try not to, you initially, aren't you always? When you first meet a woman, Not like, always, no. I initially, for the most part, unless I feel like. You're a liar. So anyways. No, 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 no. Be, be honest. Unless I feel like sometimes they're a threat. And then I don't like them maybe as much initially. So you aren't like when you hear. When you. I feel like I'm more critical of women than I am of men all day long. Right. Especially as women. Sure. Um, So I could see that being. And have you ever heard? I've heard before. Maybe I'm the only one. But like, I thought you were a bitch when I first met you and now I love you. Oh, I hear that all the time. All the time I hear it. (laughs) This is something that we tell each other, right? We're like, oh, I fucking hated you at first. Of course you did. We all hate each other at first. And then we need to like prove ourselves to each other. It is a problem, but it is reality, right? So, Well, shit. This is nine. Episode nine. I hope you guys have stuck around long enough to give us a chance. But maybe you didn't. And that sucks. And it's okay. Well, I mean, we can't make them. I don't want to make them. No, we can't make them. We can only be ourselves, right? But like we really are like we go on the Drinking Broettes page and we are a part of Drinking Bros. And I really do want to represent you guys yeah as well i really want you know because you guys are so open you're so honest like we are humbly trying to but not just that we want to be ourselves because oh yeah we can't be look i can't be anything but myself so that's the thing people have asked me i've been in situations where i could have like tried to step out and be someone else and i couldn't fucking do it it doesn't feel right to me like what you get here is authenticity you get us being real yeah uh, whether you like it or not, there's going to be some things that you agree with and there's going to be some things you don't. And that's fine because we we may not always human. say the right thing. Well, and and like, we might not, even know. you and I might not even see eye to eye. But what you'll feel like, hopefully, yeah. by the end of watching this is going like, man, I got two crazy girlfriends yeah. like, that I feel like I'm bonding with. And maybe you episodes. get one little nugget um, of something, whether it's like a little laugh or like maybe something I feel, that maybe I make you feel more intelligent by the end of it oh because you're so dumb yeah and then maybe i <laughs> and then you maybe dumb, dumb. i make you feel really young because i'm like an old mom Cause, cause do you know so what i mean old. where yeah, it's yeah. like we let we make you feel better hopefully yeah, yeah. with our ridiculousness um that's the goal right so well if you guys don't know by now this is the talented beautiful mother of two um the she woman of podcast world the blondes That's of more. the blondiest, Jesse Wiseman. How was that? Was that good? That was really good. Was that better than? And I am Tiffany Hart. I'm not a mom first. I am a, I'm a mom like third. But <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like the first, I'm a podcaster. Woman the most gorgeous woman in the world. And thank you. Um, in and the this world. is the Don't. incredibly versatile. She'll wear flannel. She'll wear teddy sweaters. She'll will. wear a blazer. Gorgeous. Hilarious. Super smart. 
wordsmith. Okay, now you're going. Now this is come on. This is going to become a competition. <laughs> and listen, I do really bad with competitions because I am really really good at makeup. And I want really fucking cool. Liked you immediately. By the way, there's anyway, a reason why I'm wearing glasses today. This is Tiffany Hart. Sorry, oh, yeah. is because I fucked up my makeup. Oh, what happened? Well, was it a I was, lash? I hate when the God, lashes dude, won't fucking stick, dude. I tried putting the eyelashes on, and I and did you I do it like three times. I realized I didn't cut them. I got small eyes, and I didn't cut them. Got so to. this one was too long. Got to. That's a tip. Pro tip, oh, yeah. guys. Anyone that's like, I can't wear the strip glasses, strip lashes. They just like don't no, work. Cut them. cut them into little pieces, as little or as big as you need to, sure. to just be on the edge, anyways. And so. The left one I had, and I put some eyeliner on it, put a little bit too much. So this one's darker, and my right one's lighter. And I'm like, you know what? Glasses is going to fix this. And you didn't want to put the more well, liner on the other. I didn't realize I didn't put enough liner on one eye until I was gone. Oh, and I'm like, it. I'm not turning around. Totally. Not for liner. And I was about to We're text you, but bitch. I'm like, I'm not sure in liner. <laughs> Like, oh yeah right there's That's some things thing. you just don't really share sure like eye stuff sure. for sure don't some people are just weird about stuff like that so i'm like i'm not gonna whatever well, my eyes are super sensitive so that's the one thing i can't i mean mm -hmm. i'll drink out of everybody's glass no problem i'll eat <laughs> stuff off the floor no issues no lipstick five roll? yeah oh lipstick all day long all day long but something with the eyes there's I know, like me too. such a sensitive I'm so freaked out of pink eye i've never had it but oh I like. my god i that's all i used to get as a child pink I think eye? I was, we were probably farting on each other's pillows non-stop and so we were constantly getting pink eye how do you get constantly pink eye was it your school did you go no, to a I'm bad school you, i'm pretty sure it's because my sister and i were always like bouncing around on each other's pillows and stuff and maybe, maybe yeah. like we were farting and not wiping our ass enough as young children. I don't know. That, do you remember mono? But it's contagious too. though too. Oh, yeah. I never had mono. Never had mono. But remember there's like a couple things. I wanted mono though, to be honest. Oh yeah. You get like. Because I lose. I was going to lose weight as a teenager. Lose weight. You get all this time off school. <laughs> yes. But it was an embarrassing one, right? Because it's the kissing disease. I so. Yeah. At a certain age, sure. it's embarrassing. If you get it in high school, it's like, yeah, fuck you. Yeah. I fuck. Yeah, I but got that mono. I got that mono, bitch. You want a piece? <laughs> but in like when people got it like like middle school or even younger than that, you're like, oh, yeah. Oh, it's like so embarrassing. But it wasn't just mono. from kissing, though. It wasn't. But the, and yeah, either is pink eye, right? Them. Like pink eye is not only from shit in the eye. Correct. But it's not from fecal matter. But. It's, but that's what everybody thinks, well, once right? One person figured it out. It was like the ongoing joke. Like, what do you do? Oh, like, you get pink eye. Yeah. But yeah, we. I remember we used to get it as kids, and of course, like once I would get it, my sister would get it because it's pretty contagious. And we're younger kids, constantly messing with our eyes. Yeah. And I would wake up with my eyes crusted shut in the middle of the night. You know, as a young kid, and yeah. I'm freaking out, and I'd be like yelling for my mom. Which, when I look back, I'm like, she's a superhero. Cause she wake up at two, three a.m. in the morning, or like every two hours, and come and get me a hot wash rag, Oof. and put it on my eyes. You know what I mean? So I can open them up. I'm like, man, poor. I just give you like, some Benadryl and say I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> you know, I like cannot deal kids. with this at two thirty. No. Have you ever had <laughs> any of your boys get sick and just like come into your room and just stand at your door and be like, Mom? Yeah. I puked. Yep. Like. Yeah. Get, like that's a thing. Story of my life right now. One of my kids is a uh, little chunky chunk. He's a little my yeah, but youngest. he's a baby and he's so he's Carol. a baby, but he's a little he's a little fatty fat. I was a fatty and fat. And he is overeating, mm -hmm. so he will just like eat his dinner and have a bottle and have some more food and then puke. He's grown. Oh, oh so he he's puked. like he's a goldfish right now. Where like you can't put the food around him or else he will eat it and puke. And for me, I'm like. I, I don't really know exactly what I'm doing, but I'm like, if a kid wants to eat, you feed him, right? It's That's like they're growing. I like I would never <laughs> put a baby on a diet and be like, nope, you can't have that. Yeah. So there's a couple things I'm probably doing wrong. There's a lot of things I'm doing wrong, but there's a couple things I'm doing wrong in that, in that I probably shouldn't give him also the bottle. I'm not sure. I'm sure you guys though. will let me know. I feel like but that's a... It's like a learning curve. Learn like, oh, listen. Everything is a everything I know is from doing the wrong thing with my kids, right? I there's there's I didn't not read anything about anything. I so said you could Google it. You can ask everyone, but everyone has their own opinion and everyone has their own way and, and advice. Especially and you will know this when you have kids, especially with mommy blogs, like the judge the biggest I've heard this judgy group. Um, not in that? the drinking broets, but in usually in mommy blogs or if you post anything kid wise. And that's why celebrities get so much shit 
I mean, they'll post one thing with their kid. It they're kissing them. They're the dogs too close to the face. Whatever they post about their kids, like Everyone's there will be a mommy, it. a couple mommy comments that are just like shaming them. Mom, it's mom shaming, right? Or dad shaming, or whatever. Maybe that doesn't make any sense to me because I'd figure being a mother, they would understand the difficulties of you know doing things or trial and error, or that everyone does it different, right? You but think- instead they're probably one of the hardest on each other yes which and again that's kind of go, brings us back to our, our thank first you. thing we're thank hard you. on each other we're hard on so each give, other give us a chance moms folks. are really hard on each other it yeah. really sucks like the most judgment that you will get is from another mom like someone that doesn't have kids they'll be pissed that you're in the restaurant but they're not judging your parenting yeah. you know what i'm saying um that is the biggest fear when you're doing stuff is like what are the other I used to like yeah. what are the other moms going to think like oh, wow. what are they going to think if I do this like is this the right thing like I can't so I as you know I don't post anything about my kids because it's my fucking Instagram not theirs mm-hmm. um and that's also why it's like, I do you the just same thing about my relationship yeah you just don't want to fucking hear it because I feel like everyone has their own opinions on relationships and people love to be meddling in other people's relationships mm. so um, fun there's been a few so fun. there's been a few social media like popular people who told me that if you want to get clout guaranteed post anything about relationship stuff guaranteed like like YouTube, your personal relationship or just relationship advice or like what should you no, yeah like your personal relationship oh, okay. like constantly be sharing it like Oof. share your ups and downs share no. like going out share your breakups share dating someone else like youtubers I guess it's like the if you're the, dating maybe like Logan Paul or like mm-hmm. those guys. Mm-hmm. Apparently, like he was saying that relationships is like the best clout ever. Yeah, but he's like a young guy that dates a bunch of girls. Well, and so... it worked for KGB. Yeah, true. Did it though? I mean, I, where's I'm, KGB I'm, these days? No, I get it, but I'm just saying like YouTubers yeah. and everyone else out there, they're always constantly. And for me, I'm like, I don't want people meddling in my relationship. Mm-hmm. Also, Chris doesn't really like being online. Like he doesn't like his face out there that much. He doesn't. Doesn't like his business out there. And I don't blame him. Some people just don't. They yeah. like their privacy. And I respect that because he's my husband. There's a few times I'll be like, can I post a picture of you, please? Yeah. And like, whatever. Yeah. And um, he'll be like, yeah, sure. And the coolest thing on my page is those are probably the pictures I get some of the most likes. And I'm like, that's fucking cool. It is cool. You know what I mean? Because um, I, I do have like 75% male followers. But they know I'm married. And yeah. I don't post like racy pics. I'll lose followers if I post stuff about like kids or rough if i do good good written oh totally i'm like i'm down with it but at the same time i'm in this weird place and maybe it's like a midlife or i just got done having kids or whatever but like i don't want to be personally right now in my life i don't want to be defined by being a mom or a wife like i am those things but um just right now i'm like really i'm i'm a good mom don't worry not the best but I'm good, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm with them every, all the time, every day, blah, blah, blah. I'm sure you're great. But um, I do have other things going on. Yeah. And there is, I may not be at that total transition where I can just be a complete um, role model for my kids instead of a slave, right? But at so, at certain point, like once my youngest kid gets a little bit older, that's what I want to be. Like I want to be more of like a role model of like mom works mm-hmm. for everything we have, right? And that's what you have to fucking do instead of mom gets me everything I want and at my beck and call yeah. and it, I'm her entire life. I've seen and that. it's great yeah. if that is your job and that's the way you're fucking supposed sure. to do it. But for me personally right now, I'm just in that weird, I'm not it's like midlife crisis. It's just sort of how I'm feeling right quarter now. Quarter life. Quarter life, right? Let's say even a fifth life. Let's get hey. you to... Over a hundred. I'm at one sixteenth of a life crisis. Uh, oh my so, god. <laughs> um, I am. What are you fucking five? Yeah. So I'm just kind <laughs> of like not wanting to have that be my entire self, right? Yeah. My entire everything. No, that makes um, complete sense. I, especially online. And again, online that's not real life. So mm-hmm. online, you can put out whatever you want. Okay. Like I am a mom. I am a wife. But I can put out everything else that i'm doing and Mm -hmm. you guys don't need to fucking worry about if i'm a good mom or a good wife right correct so that's kind of where i'm at not that it's right or it's the right way to do it or anything but that's sort of where i'm at and it may change Mm -hmm. when things settle down when 
I don't know. I think I'll be I the don't same know way. when it will. I change. think I'll be the same way. Honestly, I remember yeah, I you talked have a lot of other things going with on. Chris about it, and so Chris um, has a daughter, right? So I have yeah. a stepdaughter, and I remember we got her for uh, you know we had her for three four weeks during the summer yeah. last year, and um, I took off the whole time. Yes, um, he was not able to, which is fine because like I can completely understand with his work, um, but I we took off the entire time, and I will say week two or three. I lost my identity. I, I felt like I lost my identity. I was calling so, my mom. There you go. I, yeah. I called my mom and I was like, I'm yeah. not built for this. This is all I've been doing nonstop. Like, you do. I, I was living, eating, and breathing her because I wasn't working. Yeah. Right? I didn't even go to the gym. I wasn't doing any of my normal things. And like all night I was up with her. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And like taking her to the bathroom. And she would come to my side of the bed. She just is more attached to females. Yeah. Cause she lives with her mom. Right. And so I was with her every step. And I, I was like, I, for a quick second, I looked at him. I was like, I don't know if I want to have kids. Yeah. And we were, you know, tr we've been trying. So he's like, wait, what? And I was like, if this is how it's going to be, then I don't know if I want that right. because I felt like I completely lost myself mm -hmm. and that's all I was. And he goes, first of all, this is not how it normally is going to be, you know? Well, and, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. and it won't like I'll, I'll be working. I'll have to work. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll be working out and yeah. we'll, it won't be like, I'll be home all day. Like we'll have to make that work. That was kind of like a little instance that just kind of gave me a little glimmer. Yeah, of it. I was like, sure. Oh, but I God. will say like with my first kid, um, after I had my, my first baby, I miss, I misdiagnosed myself with postpartum, mm -hmm. um, because I thought that's what I was going through, but what I was really going through and what everybody does go through when they have their first kid and they turn from a, you know, single person that cares about themselves to a mom, mm -hmm. uh, you do have definitely a identity, like shift or like a part of yourself dies like that part that only cares about themselves and can do whatever they want and like really you know possibilities are endless whatever yeah um and you're friends with whoever you want and blah 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 but like that dies and it is you definitely mourn it for a little bit and the joy of having I your understand kid that. is like coinciding with it so you're not just in a pit of despair you shouldn't be anyways but um if you are, that's probably postpartum. But you definitely have, um, you have this moment of like saying goodbye to who you were. And I think that's really, natural. Really, really hard for people. Was really, really hard for me. But when you come out on the other side of that, you definitely feel so much better. You're just a different person. Like mm -hmm. you're never ever. If you say like, I'm just nothing's really gonna change. I'm gonna do everything the same, right? Which I've heard from people oh i i and was hoping that would be the thing but i realized it wasn't going to it's not but it's like a better version of that mm -hmm. right like no you can't be the same person do all the same things ride the motorcycle every day put the baby on do you know what i mean yeah but you you can be even better it's just that realization takes it for me it took like six months did it to get I feel to like a point of bit. like yeah because we are I'm just very being independent with, people. I say I'm being realistic with myself here. Yeah. Because I'll be honest, like I'm as I'm starting to really slow down my military career, um, part of me is like really excited because, you know, I can sit there and be like, Well, this is a new venture yeah. and we're doing this so that we can have a family. Yeah. And we're doing this to slow things down so I'm not gone all the time and we're not like both deployed and whatever. However, <laughs> I'll see like my buddies. Yeah. jumping and doing the things and yep. i have fomo like oh, i'm like i still do like i still will sometimes look at stuff like yeah. from my friends back in the day or like people that aren't still aren't married still don't have kids still are doing like the acting thing or making movies and i'm just like you know if you play the tape till the end you really don't want to be there mm -hmm. but correct at that moment mm -hmm. it's like mm. and you will always have that and just don't let it get you it, I let I didn't have anyone to talk to about it, but it let it get me really down and mm -hmm. then thought I had postpartum. And it's really not. I think it's just a normal morning of your self yeah. that you used to be. And you will get back to whatever that new self is going to be. Mm -hmm. But, you know, 
they say like give yourself a break right but it is it's hard it is we're, true i did not know the worst critic like, i did not know this and, yeah. i didn't have i didn't listen to anybody about it i couldn't i didn't talk to anyone about it so if anybody's feeling like that out there yeah you know i mean i've heard girlfriends before tell me that after they've had kids that they've <laughs> they felt really bad and they've kicked themselves so much for not feeling like the super maternal bliss of oh, like yeah. did not oh, feel bad like i'm so in Mm-mm. love with you and some of them were like is there something wrong with me no should i be feeling this way no and i'm sitting there going you know what i feel like everyone's experience is so super unique and i don't think anyone could sit there and go no you're wrong like your feelings like no one's feelings should be wrong like if that's how you feel like no then that's fine there is like there is a there are symptoms of postpartum look at the most severe ones if you feel like you have it like look at like wanting to harm yourself or your kid thinking like thoughts of like abandonment like abandoning them or whatever like fantasies things like this so there look at the most extreme but the sadness part the like all that you know that that stuff is it's just gonna be there Mm -hmm. it's just a part of like your joy and your sadness of losing yourself second kid not so much it's just like fuck this this is <laughs> insane like and you what know, did I just have a second one but you know that you're gonna get over it right so i'm just like just make it through six months right so you yeah. know you know the the milestones right so you're like okay when you have your first kid you're like this is never gonna end this is gonna be my life forever i'm just gonna have a crying a, baby I, like, I know that once i have a kid i'm gonna be talking to you and all my friends with kids oh i can't wait i'm sure there's gonna be like what the fuck oh yeah um and it know, will one thing I actually also wonder too is if I'm still gonna want to skydive, like jump out of planes for my job and once I have kids. That I don't know. You may. I know. I'll have to see. Actually, yeah. I was curious because when I was getting ready today, I was I heard a plane. Yeah. Um, and it sounded like a little prop plane, like mm-hmm. something lower. And I was mm-hmm. like, do they have a drop zone out here, like a skydiving drop zone? And they I do. Yeah. Thought to myself, Mr. If Jamie once told I get us they do. my tandem rating, I feel like we should do a live show and I should take you. Oh my gosh, I would. As a front passenger. I would. <laughs> would you really? Yeah, I've done it. Have you? I mean, I've jumped out of a plane like tandem with someone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You go with me? Yeah. I'm like one of the safest jumpers ever. Oh my gosh, our show would do so well if we both died. <laughs> right? Oh my God. Oh my gosh, like this show oh my God. would be number one for years. That's true. People would be like, oh my God, we have to download so win, every win. episode since they died. <laughs> I feel like a win-win, right? Okay, let's not say that. I'm knocking no, out all the I'm joking, here. I'm joking. Come on. No, but I think that'd be a blast. It would be so fun. I promise my mom she'd be like the first that I would take. Because okay, I have, I have enough first. jumps to have my tandem rating. All the guys have been asking, like, when are you going to get it? Yeah. Like, let, when should we send you? And I'm like, let's wait. And I figured maybe after kids, because I didn't want to do all that before kids. Oh, shit. So. So that you, well, now you're making me pose the question that you just posed, which is, I jumped out of a plane before I had kids. Uh-huh. So now I need to think about if I want to do it. Right? Who, you? Yeah, because so oh, that shit. exact you question that you just asked. So I oh, did so it. you did it before po- Before pre-kids. kids. And so now I haven't done it after kids. You know and you what? you just asked Honestly, me that question and I was like, yes. And then I was like, wait. You're at a greater risk of dying on your way to work than you are in a skydiving incident. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah. <laughs> well, let's just say that's true. Okay. We are super smart and we have so many statistics. I mean, when you think that- about how often I like have jumped and how i've never had any incidents uh-huh and then how often to, you get in your car i think getting in the cars i mean i'm times? close to death every day because of sure just idiots on the road it's true it's really true and driving with no hands but i guess if we the real way to do this to statistic is if you a what a, a statistic st- 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 is if you jumped out of a plane every day well, I guess I got to start doing that, folks. I guess so. We got we need the real numbers. I know. But before we uh, get to the real numbers of um, your death st- statistic. No, we're not going to talk about that. No, Let's, we're not. We're going to talk about The Bachelor. I really want to talk about The Bachelor because I have sleepy eye bags because I see it Because up late. me too. And I was like, oh, I love it so much. I Anyways, um, we hope you guys either love it, love, hate it. Yeah. Jamie? Uh, yeah, that's what I'm about to get to. We got this, bro. We got it. <laughs> so <laughs> we are going to get into The Bachelor yeah. after the sponsors. Um, That's how we talk to the men around here. Just so you guys Shut know. Shut the fuck Shut up, Shut the fuck you. up. We got this, dude. 
You don't talk to me. Ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. And in the same breath, I'm using the drinking bros promo code. But anyways, you know, we're our own women. Okay. Yeah. We do. We do what we want. Yeah. Um, ghostbed.com. Um, are you going to get one? So here's the coolest thing. So I looked up ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros, right? Yeah. And it says they have like the picture of the podcast there and they're like, hey, welcome drinking bros. And I'm like, this is cool. Yeah. That's and they the actually have real page. testimonials from mm-hmm. drinking bro listeners. Um, Nobody has ever. I can't even imagine someone being disappointed with ghost. Yeah. Bed. Well, you know, what I thought was really awesome that they have on their website is they have ghost bed versus all their competitors. So they literally sit down there and they break down they every should. competitor. And I'm like, damn, because they are different. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, it seems like all these companies are the same, but they this one. I mean, all of them are different, right? I don't know how I, how, I don't think any other website does that so if you want to figure out what the difference between ghost bed and any other bed that might be similar you might hear like a casper or whatever the fuck else right they have it there and they're like hey this is like the real honest yeah here's the real honest info you're getting it from us yeah um but yeah i think it's really cool too so they have yeah the 15 percent off military and first responder that's always you guys but one thing i like that they do is they have the verify it with id.com like the uh, excuse me id dot me mm-hmm. and um this is where you literally just put in maybe like a military email or yeah. something like that and you verify on there and once you have that it does it every single time nice and that's super simple so it's easy for, for you guys yes yeah, so you yeah. can just press and once you, that yeah once you go ahead and verify it with id dot me mm-hmm. once you're good for the other site nice so i'm like that's super easy so i love it I'm, yeah, I we should. So th- what are the other deals they have for uh, civilian dum dums like me? Well, right now, um, well, that's the thing. By the time this post, I don't know. If It'll they have to be tw- last week. But yeah, twenty five percent off everything right now. Fifteen. They have fifteen hours left. They have a flash sale. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it, that has ended clearly, but um, they always have something. So. Yeah. Well, hundred dollars off. Go sped two hundred dollars off for the Lux, two hundred off for the Flex. You can get a couple hundred dollars off and up to two free pillows for anything. The pillows are amazing, you guys. They have new cooling pillows. Oh my god, Ugh. I need that in my life. So you, and, you like know, always have a cool side of the pillow. It's amazing. They have their adjustable base, which when I think about it, oh my god, it's starting at seven ninety nine. Yeah, you got the wrong base, dude. I I know. I got the life, Tempur-Pedic would, one, and I, I literally I told it's you I took out a fucking loan for it. It's not as good um and i paid it off years later i know well did you have interest on that payment i did yeah so the awesome thing about Ghostbed, besides how amazing the product is yeah is the price is right first of all yeah. then they have insane discounts second and then third you can do a pay-as-you-go yeah, program which i heard or, that yeah and like it's a monthly payment a monthly payment with no interest so it's like it. you just are paying <laughs> The whole thing of the vet. I think it's like thirty six dollars a month or seventy, depending on which like package you get. Yeah, you well, can do that too. for there's, a good night's sleep, right? It's worth and if it. If you refer a friend, pennies a day or anyone, you there's a referral program discount as well. You guys, so, if you haven't boom. gotten a ghost bed or at least just visited the site and seen like when you are ready for a bed, what they have to offer, let's go do it. Yeah, I promise it is amazing um next sponsor is what tiffany felix gray oh you're wearing them they look so Ooh, good so on you, you if you guys are watching our youtube show you guys will see that i'm wearing Mine's them right sticky, now so I'm not i know i touched those earlier and i'm like what the fuck is on those uh, okay coffee so i'm wearing the, i leave coffee around. like these little black squared ones which i think can look good almost on almost any face yeah no. honesty i was on my computer all last night without these on and i woke up with watching the bachelor yeah like having a headache with my eyes feeling strained yep and honestly if i had these guarantee i would not have had a headache these help block out what like 80 90 percent of the blue light Mm -hmm. that comes from all your electronics which is major because we're constantly looking at computer screens and phone screens nowadays which is crazy i've also had gotten really crappy um blue lenses before like glasses oh, yeah. like this off where you of can, amazon like, see when you can see the tint a little yes, bit you can, they look different it has a yellow tint mm-hmm. i look like a grandma yeah not yeah. like that's a bad thing but, but like, i look like a grandma to... like i want to look hip i want these to look like normal glasses 
Yeah. You don't want and anyone do. to be like, oh, why do you wear your, your blue light right now? Because yes. you want to just be able to wear them throughout the day and or whatever. And someone say, oh, those are cute glasses. Exactly. Oh, cute glasses. Thank you. And Their they actually... Great. Um, I met with these guys in New York for when we were at podcast upfronts. Cool as shit, dudes. They have this awesome, um, like office out there, mm-hmm. and we partied with them. They were awesome. So Hell on yeah. top of a great product, you're supporting some cool entrepreneurs um, that are just trying to fucking, you know? Yeah, the ones the I have thing. on now are called Nash. Yeah. Um, oh, and he told me the guy told me that they are having like more. They're trying to get more styles. Um, styles. They're all yeah. unisex, but they said there's a couple that are a little bit more feminine. I can and see that. Super cute. So Nash, I think would look good on anyone. These are the ones I have on now. They come in like black, yeah. the brownish kind of color, and yeah, like this and the, other like, turquoise, really, or yeah, the like a turquoise tur- tortoise shell. Which yes, is always cute. So they have these other ones on here that I think I'd really like. They're a little less square, a little bit more long, called Faraday, and they have four different colors. They have actually clear ones. Which I kind of like, like oh, the clear the white ones. the guy was wearing the clear ones. It's a little bit masculine, but it looks really good. I have a set of clear ones I can literally wear with anything, and they're yeah. cute. So I would uh, definitely get those, too. And they have ones for kids. And they're not just for computer screens. They have one for, like, suns, and they have optics and anything else. So anything that you could want. And they do have clear, too, like, if you don't even want any of that. They're yeah. just, like, you know. Listen, They're an folks, awesome company. Save your eyeballs. And it's felixgray.com. Um... We don't have a promo code. Uh, Drinking bros. N- no, I don't think we have a promo code with them. But oh. they are a great company, well-priced already, and we're just uh, happy for their for their support, and we support them. And how you can support, support us is support our sponsors. <laughs> yes. Okay, did I say support enough? You did. Now listen, we need... To get into The Bachelor. First of all, I want to... Oh, wait. Yeah. So it's felixgrayglasses.com slash drinking bros. That's what oh, it at. is? Yep. To oh. get a pair of the blue light glasses from the pros. Okay. With so. the, is there a discount with that? Yeah, I believe so. Um, but what that's what... It? I don't know. It doesn't oh, say okay. on here. Okay. I don't I think there's a discount, guys. But... Oh, okay. Um, awesome company. Yeah. Uh, bachelor. So we need to get into the bachelor. I need to say first, um, I did not like Peter. Still don't. <laughs> Peter the pilot is the stupidest choice. I'm sure they have buyer's remorse after this fucking episode. You know who everyone but was how hoping? do you feel? I was hoping because you were on the fence. Like, oh, he can go four times. Like, maybe he's great. He's not. But go ahead. Listen. Whatever well, you say is wrong because he's horrible, but well, go ahead. He's not. He, you know, I will say this. He's very nice. He seems very genuine. He's way too oh, nice for me and my liking. I was really hoping to be Mike, to be honest. Mike. Oh, yeah. That would have been fun. I think everyone he's did, great. Too. He was fun, so, natural. Well, and the thing is, too, is like everyone's like, hey, you've literally had only all white males who look the exact fucking yeah. same on this show. Bachelor's like, how about you mix woke. it up? Yeah. You know, oh, what I mean? we've had one black bachelorette. Yeah, but they're talking about males in this. Uh, yeah, I'm just you know, like the like, bachelor. Yeah. Like, I mean, I know they had like Juan Pablo or whatever. Mm, no, he was. But, <laughs> but literally, they. I know everyone made a huge deal about it at the end of the bachelorette when they realized they weren't picking Mike because they put Mike on Bachelor in Paradise. Yeah, and people were having a hissy fit about it. And they literally showed the last like six, seven bachelors, and they all look the exact same. Oh yeah, like a clone. Mm-hmm. He looks. Of each other. He's very Colton esque, right? Not but, as. No, oh whoa whoa whoa! Definitely not as sexy. No no no! But he's like, like his face, like he's just a fucking normal, sure, boring white looking, white dude. Yeah, he's nice. He seems very romantic. He has. He comes from a very loving family. With, I think, in my opinion, like, he comes from a very good foundation. Did Just, you see the creepy chant that I was talking about? The weird chant that they did? No. Did you watch but the they're beginning? they're Cuban. Huh? They're Cuban, right? No. Yes, they're they are. Polish? He, no, I thought he said they were cu- a Cuban family. He comes from a Cuban descent. Really? Yes, and that's why he still lives at home. He was talking about it on Jimmy Kim Alive, because Jimmy mm. Kim Alive was giving him shit, like, you still live at home. And he's like, yeah. well, I come from, like, a Cuban family, and that's very normal in our culture. Cuban. Yeah. They're like very close. So that chant is Cuban? I guess so. I think so. Oof. 
But um, I think that he will make some girl very happy one day, especially in the bedroom. But he's definitely by no means like sexy, throbbing, like heart no. throb, like no. type of guy. Mm-mm. Like they did a scene with him that I was kind of like, really? When he was washing the plane and then he like put the oh, hose God. up to his but mouth that's what for I a mean quick when second. I, that's what and I, mean. I was like, that's not like you can't do a shower scene every time. It's not Colton. And by the way, the shower scenes got old with Colton anyway. Yeah, but they for were me. like, but they he, were, he was sexy. So he could get away with it. Whereas to me, I'm like, play to his strengths. Like he's sweet. He's cute. Like right. show stuff like that. Because yeah. he just seems Because he looked goofy. He, he looked did goofy. He's a goober. He's like flat footed. You see him walk? No, I didn't. Oh my God. He's who got pays a... attention to that? Me. <laughs> All of these things matter. What does your breath smell like? How do you Some... walk around? Well, I mean, I, but the breath is, but you don't know that until you get in person. It could be soup. Dude, I'm it could you right, smell I'm like soup. You right now, if you I know kissed I mean? him and his and breath smelled like hot like. fucking garbage, I'd be like, nope, bye. I'm going to eliminate myself. Because you know for a fact it's probably going to get worse as time goes on. <laughs> These fucking kissing face with all them chicks. Mm. So I look, don't think his breath, he doesn't strike me as like a bad breath guy. But he, um, like I said, he's flat footed. He walks around like a duck. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. where, or he walks around like he has uh, fins on. Oh my god! I did not notice that, but now you're I'm gonna, gonna be now. Looking. You're going to now. Okay, so we've come to the conclusion that you're not a fan of Peter. However, he's and, unfortunately the Bachelor, right? So this is something you know you're gonna have to deal with. <laughs> yeah, with and I season. will constantly make fun of him. But we so, will. Yeah. So I will say this: um, I've noticed this is a trend throughout all the Bachelor and Bachelorettes. Right? You have people who get super crazy when they first meet. They do some really stupid stuff too. Yeah, if you're he, crying night one, you're not in my well, top No, no I'm two. just saying when you first meet him. Like, okay, first impression, right? They get out of the limo. And some of these people act so idiotic to me. Mm-hmm. Then I'm like, okay, I get it, girlfriend. You want to be remembered? But do you really want to be remembered as, like, the girl who wore a fucking windmill on her back? Right. Saying, like, you want to like, you want to do number five? Or would you rather be known as the girl who has a beautiful eyes, beautiful smile, a cute laugh, who, like, really made a good impression on him? Because when you what think happens, about it. happens, though, in a guy's mind, though, is, like, they're just hot. I mean, they're all pretty, like... Yeah, but... Pretty similar looking, similar uh, weight, kinda. similar boobs, like... Do you know what I mean? Well, Similar they dress, have a type. dresses, right? And yeah. so you come out of the limo and to a guy, it's just like, meh, 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 I, right? I'd rather my personality be winning him over or my looks than something stupid that I said. Because by the way, if you notice throughout history, there's a mic here. If you notice throughout history that every winner never did anything super stupid in the beginning. And it, they've always gotten the first impression. Right? And they've always gotten the first impression. Right? So Hannah Ann. Right, mm-hmm. she so, came out just super cute, being herself, yeah. like with no, a little I know. twang. I and know, it, and she got the first impression rose. The girl who came out and made a one-liner like, "I might have dry sense of humor, but that's the only thing that's dry on me." Like he forgot about her. He forgot. So that's what I'm saying. And I, when they were talking on the couch, I was like, "How'd you forget?" that line a it's so stupid and weird well, he finished B, it too. it's a little bit like she was forgettable she was forgettable like, let's just be real she real. talked really quietly and she looked like cash me outside girl but anyway if you're gonna have 30 something women 30 something people that you just so met many. there's gonna you have to somehow catch your attention their attention and if you don't i think with who you are you're never gonna recover you're no you're not gonna make you're, it to the end i agree so if that's you have too, to have a gimmick and that's a good lesson right the gimmicky you have girls, to have a gimmick the gimmicky girls are the ones who last. start the drama and mm-hmm. the ones who are, i swear are kept on the show just for drama yeah and that's it and then there's the ones that he really likes that yeah didn't have to do any of the gimmicks and they keep bringing back hannah b because peter's so boring that they need um so i'm not letting up and because he's so boring they have to like add some drama to the show right so they're, they keep the bringing Hannah B enough, back. Let's be real, though. The girls are... They are and they aren't, right? Like, they kinda, well, are, look. but they there's a lot of... There's three hours to fill. Those editors definitely had to, you know, Well, they're feeding them work. a ton of alcohol. Yeah. 
And like, it's in a their... night shoot. Did you see when they give the rose yes, out? It was in it's the morning. morning. They shoot all night long drinking like that. There Bool. was there was one girl whose makeup looked perfect still, and I was like, "Bitch, I need your routine because yeah. everyone else kind of was dragging Oh, everyone ass. had the morning after you drink you know, all night yeah. and stay up. But there was one girl who was oh, which primed one? and ready still. She had like the short blonde hair and oh, she, uh, yeah. you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And, like the boobs sticking out of her like silver dress. Yeah. That one, her makeup was still on point and I was like, wow. good for you, girlfriend. Yeah. Um, That's hard to do for a night shoot. Shit. Right? She must have been reapplying and the other girls were just like, fuck it, I'm so cute. Yeah, I I'm don't so drunk. need to. Well, listen, you know how when you get drunk and you think you look good and then you walk into the bathroom Oof. and you see yourself in the mirror and all of a sudden you're like, wow. Or you watch the stories I'm the next drunk day. And I look like, I think I even look like a bag of assholes. Yeah. That's how some of those yeah girls the eyes were are probably. bloodshot the the makeup's all in your pores yeah. like you just <laughs> it like dissolved in, into yeah your pores. just dissolved I don't know where it goes sometimes makeup it's like where does it go that's why it just flies away yeah like how did it come off of my face probably from hugging the shit out of him I was looking at his jacket the whole time because every time he hugged a girl like her oh, face was getting smashed dude, into his jacket that's all I thought too I was like he's gonna have so much makeup on yeah. that white shirt that's by the I, end yes. of the day because some of the girls were like Wearing, spray yeah. tan makeup like lipstick everything yeah which you should do and whatever yeah they all do so the so at the beginning you know they're all trying to like get time with him and this is the one thing that drives me nuts this is dude, it's dude. the best part this is the one thing that drives me nuts it's so the best part there'll be a girl that comes up and be like hey like do Can you I mind if i steal, steal him, him for a second and every single girl goes oh yeah i don't care or they go sure i'll leave it up to him okay yeah cool cool yeah go with her mm -hmm. and then they turn around and go oh my god i can't oh, how stole dare him. her exactly then, i go and then they waste say no. time and bitch about it say and no. i'm like okay so you can either spend that time trying to go up to him and stealing him away from someone else or just say no thanks do you mind like oh actually can you give me a few more minutes thanks so much yeah and then go and if you want more time go make it happen yeah some of these girls are just so lazy and i just want to sit there and whine and i'm like just say no yeah you say you're not here to make friends so <laughs> just let's no. go and if like, you don't just care, say no give me a second if you don't like care, no i just sat down like give me a second yeah but then they don't want it. There's such it's such a delicate dance, right? That girls have to do. Like, don't don't be a bitch. You like, don't nice. come off as a bitch. But get your man. But do what you have to do. But don't come off as crazy. Like you're just. I it, get it drives them fucking I nuts. I know you right? want to look. You want to look drives nice them to him. Nuts. Well, there was a girl who was like, "Hey, do you mind if I interrupt you?" And the other girl was like, "No, it's okay." And she's like, "By the way, like super cute dress." And he loved that. He was like, "Oh, you're so sweet. You're so sweet." But you know yeah. what? I'm a type of person too where I sometimes get anxiety a little bit like that because I don't like interrupting people. Yeah. When it comes to like, oh, I know they're having an important conversation, but I really like gotta get in this. Yeah. So I will also be like, "Hey, do you mind if I interrupt?" interrupt really quick like okay thank you oh my god you're looking great today yeah yeah, yeah. i will leave a compliment because yeah. i feel bad and i want to leave it on good terms because i yeah. don't want them mad at me a compliment <laughs> crop dust yeah <laughs> a compliment crop dust <laughs> just a little compliment toot yeah, as you little leave toot and just like <laughs> wafted in the air yep. with compliment later waft. bitch you look great that's how it kind of it is right it's like a compliment kind of but i just yeah. interrupted you in anyways um so i want to know already who Hannah and Kelly. Okay. And what is up with Kelly? They've Dude. met before. Okay, well. Did they hook up or not? So here's the thing. They did. They, um, okay, can I just mention one thing though before we get to this? So they went in this group date, right? Which is where like Kelly won. Yeah. She cheated. They, good for her. If you're not cheating, you ain't trying. Um, <laughs> that's what we always say. Interesting lesson, but okay. Yeah. Uh, good for her. Good for her. She won that dick. Um, the more they had so they brought in the first like blue angels female pilot yeah and then they said then he said a oh i'd love to get your yeah c-130 pilot i went bitch your hair is pink yeah and i was thinking to myself you if she's retired which she 100 percent definitely has to be retired has to be or not in because you can't have pink hair right in any military branch and definitely not the marines because they have they're the strictest I was sitting there going, okay, well, you pay, you could have said, you know, retired C-130 Marine pilot. So that threw me off. But those girls were cracking me up because they have, like, the military kind of dry, yeah. sarcastic yeah. humor. And I was like, and they were just dogging on them girls. Oh, yeah. And I was like, good you for you You know they guys. were, too. And then, okay, this is what threw me over the edge. 
uh, Victoria F., the blonde chick, right? Who got like super sick. Yes. Okay. So that they was put me. them. That would so, be me. So they try to put them in this little like mock, like turbulence thing. Mm -hmm. And she's freaking out, right? And they're, they do a little cameo on her. And every single girl has to have some type of like terrible, haunting horror story in their you life. You have to. Hers. <laughs> oh my God. This is so stupid. They flash back to her being in the teacups at Disneyland and they flash back to it as if it was like a horror scene. Like, oh, uh, I don't remember that. You don't remember that? They had people in the teacups and, and it was like, like laughing and it was at her. All blurry. <laughs> and she was like, and that was the first time I got really sick. And that was her horror story. And she's like, I don't think I can do this. This is so terrible. But I'm like, did they really just make a teacup story sound like they this had to? Was like because he's so boring, they really need to make all this drama, right? But by the way, I was. I'm sweating right now thinking about it. Like I get so motion sickness, right? And uh -huh. that's just like a little something about me because I'm opening up to you guys. I've always gotten motion sickness. Feel bad for me. No, but it's horrible. It actually really sucks. Yeah. But uh, she's sitting there looking at this thing that she has to do. Like I am getting sick already. Not in a million years would I do it. Why could you just not be like, dude, I can't. Like, I can't. I'm going to well, fucking you know puke what? everywhere. Because and if you don't like me, like, you have to go up in planes. You have to jump out of airplanes. Like, all the shit they do on The Bachelor, that's kind of why I've never gone on it. I mean, I'm married. Because you don't want to do any of that fun shit? I can't. Oh, my God. I would do it just for that fun shit. I'd be of like, course give, me, you would. give me it all for free. Of course you would. But this girl, I don't know what she's thinking because this is going to happen. I mean, you have to drive in cars. Like in windy roads, you're going to go to Costa Rica. You're going to do all these things that are going to make you sick, girl. I like, give her credit, though. She you needs know to what? be gone. She puked and rallied, man. She she, she puked and rallied. She like, oh, puked no, and yeah. she was she like, was like oh, okay, good. I did it. Now, oh. the thing that kind of got me a little concerned, though, is after. So while she was like puking, he like went and gave her some, excuse me, gave her some water. And then they got like really close, like face to face. Mm -hmm. I'm, like, I'm like, bro, she just puked, puked man. Dude. Like, puke, dude. why are you inches away from her mouth? Probably because his like, breath's really bad, too, and he doesn't notice. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So then we get to Kelly. This is going to be a fun game because I know, you love him right? and I hate him. Go ahead. Ke I don't love him. I you say... Him. No, I don't love him. You want to marry him, but I think you love him so much. I think he's a good... I think he's really a wholesome I think guy. he's going to grow on me. I didn't like Hannah B either, and I like her now. Like the, He'll, oh, gr he'll well, grow on me, I guess. I didn't but like Hannah B when she was first picked, but the first episode I saw her, I was like... I love this girl yeah. because I felt like she kept it real yeah, and yeah. was very authentic. And by the way, she was one of the only ones when it came to the Bachelor Bachelorettes when guys would try to interrupt and say, hey, like, can I take her? She's like, hey, do you mind giving us a few more? Mm -hmm. Like, she was the one, mm -hmm. which to me, I feel like... She was if, in charge of that fucking yes, bitch, dude. I want to do that too. So if a girl... So if I was him and I'm be like, really... Hey, just give in, us a second. Yeah, yeah, if I'm in a really good conversation with a girl and a girl comes up, I'm not going to sit there like a spineless little twerp and be like, oh, yeah, I'll come with you. I'm going to say, hey, do you mind giving us a few more minutes as the man, right? as the one in charge so that they know, so they don't get mad at the girl, and then the girl all of a sudden like, is going to be swooning and splooshing over that. Right. Right? Like, oh, my God. Splooshing? Splooshing in your pants. Oh, boy. Okay. Yep. You never heard that before? <laughs> nope. Oh, I'm good. There's certain things that I'm make me good. sploosh in my pants, and that oh, would be one of them. God. Okay? So we're, let's talk about Kelly. Okay, yeah. So there's a girl that – there's one girl on the show. If you don't watch it, sorry about this segment. But there's a girl that was in the group that had met him before. Yeah. And was like, I met him a month ago in this very hotel. Yeah. And he was at a wedding. She was at – or she, she was at a wedding. He was doing something, a uh, reunion, class reunion. Mm -hmm. And he was just gravitated her. towards her, yeah. was like, why are you in there? One in one was like, why are you on the market? Like, I'm so happy you're here. Like, I can't believe it. Yeah. So it's she, weird. I'm like, and I kept saying, did they fucking, did they hook up? Like, what the fuck so happened? Here's, here's a couple of the clues that I picked up on. So she Please. won. She like won the like the little flight with him. Right. Yeah. So they were alone. And then she got back down and then they had their little. So she interrupted one of the girls, you know, just kindly. Yeah. And he took her away and he goes, oh my God, can you believe it? And she's like, no, we're in the same hotel. So they're like bonding off of this experience yes. ready. Yes. So he goes, let's reenact it. So he takes her to the place where they met, right? So he's getting back from his reunion. She's getting back from they're the wedding. They're coming out of elevators. And they're showing, they're coming out of elevators and they like meet. And what he said was like, oh my God, hey, it's you. I can't like, 
what do you say? I can't believe I'm going to see you soon or something. Like, I think she told him. So that's what happened. So he, the I, way that he did it was like, oh, hey, who's this? And then she walked up to him and was like, oh my God, I have something to tell, tell you. you. This is crazy. And she's actually very normal and she super is. cute. And like, not the cutest, which is a, uh, a lesson. Mm-hmm. Like she's, she seems like the most fun. She seems like well, the she's most the normal, she's super smart, super smart, yeah. hot. But like yeah. you wouldn't initially, she isn't the first one that you'd be like, yes. Well, he sent home some pretty like very good looking girls yeah. too. But was he was just him. like. Because he was vibing with her. And so what she said, I think what happened is when she saw him like literally a month before because they choose these people. And he was drunk coming from the re- reunion. And you know was he was. drunk. I think she was like, hey, I'm going to be on your show. I'm going to be on your show. Is this crazy? And because that's what they made it sound like. Mm -hmm. And so then he gave her that like that rose and that group date. Mm -hmm. And he said from the moment he met her, there was a spark. Right. Yeah. The moment he met her, not on the show. show, But there. And it's funny, too, because like one of the other girls caught it and she goes, "Uh, excuse me. You know, he just said from the moment he met you, there was a spark. And she went, what? And Kelly was like really confused, and she's like, "Yeah, from the moment he met you here, here. it wasn't like at the mansion, like here? at this hotel. There yeah. was a spark." And she's yeah. like, "Oh, I didn't hear that." Yeah, and I was like, "It's gonna be interesting because she's not handling it really well, <laughs> and everyone already hates her. She has a huge. And dog she doesn't back. seem like she's the kind of person like I would fucking hate it mm-hmm. if any. Like, I would hate if all the girls hated me. I would have to. Leave. I mean, I don't think like, she likes a, it. Like, that's she a brought nightmare." It up. Yeah. And you know what, though? I thought was very sweet of him. And this is why I think he's I think he's very caring. He's very in touch with his feelings. Yeah. He really is for a guy, which for some is great. And other people like other girls, just, that's not their thing. But he before she even said anything, he goes, hey, I just want to let you know, I'm sure it's really hard. You feel like you have a target on your back because, you know, um, we have this experience already and da, 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 da. And he's like, I just want to let you know, like, don't worry about it. And she was like, wow, thank you. Yeah. She's I, like, I really needed that. Yeah. And she didn't even say anything know. about it. It I'm feels like, like they're fucking dating already. I mean, they might as well. It's her game to lose. Here's what I'm going to say. It's her game to lose. And she may her and Hannah, the other little Hannah, those and two, yeah. um, mark my words, but it's, it's well, Kelly's game to lose for sure. I guess say, I think Madison's and kind of the in game, the running a little bit too. Like, Madison, he took on that first date with his family. Oh, yeah. She's cool. He introduced her to his family already. Like, that yeah. was one of the first so girls. So weird when they fucking do that, dude. Who got on there. Yeah. Um, and his mom, his mom loved her, but I think his mom would love anyone. By the way, I want his mom as a mother-in-law. You do? Yes. Oh, She loves long. the camera. I don't care. His parents are so into being on camera. Some, it's great. Some are. Have you noticed that? And oh, yes. I think it was Madison. Colton's I think, dad was. Actually, I think it was Madison. Her dad was the one who was giving her like all those play by plays. Yeah. And I was like, in my head, I'm like, your dad's eating up that oh, camera. Oh, he's loving it. But good for them. Like, yeah. why not? Yeah. They're like, if my kids are going to be on TV, damn it, might as well too. Absolutely. <laughs> but the mom, they showed one clip from the future show where she was like, really dramatically go crying and she was like don't let, let her go, her go. Yeah. and it's just like calm down i thought it was super cute when they Your found out the bachelor that their son had fucked hannah in the oh, windmill yeah. four times they're cheering Clapping. in the crowd like whoa that's my baby yeah, that's my I son i mean i don't know listen that is the support i need in my life yeah that's the support i need no, in my life right. At least not in my life that in a your, bra. That okay? your parents um, cheer you on for having sex? Yes. Totally not I weird. I want my parents to be like, that's yep. right. I taught my girl how to bang a dude well. Yep. Not like, weird at all. Taught like, her all the passion she needs. The, da- <laughs> the dad is a poon hound. <laughs> Mustache, gold cross. Listen, there's a reason. Unbuttoned. <laughs> yeah. There's a reason why their marriage has survived so long. Oh, yes. Good for them. He's a pilot, too. Yeah. Can we be done with, like, all the pilot stuff, though? I think, hey, that's a good job. Listen, it's no, better. No, no, but, like, I mean, gosh. Good. Gosh darn. We really that's do know job, that though. he's a pilot I, by this point, right? I admire him for being a pilot. It's better than being, like, I'm an entrepreneur. Oh, no. Like, it's fucking great. Because he's not doing this. And it's family business. His dad is, too. It's great. I'm just saying, like, leading up to this, there is so many pilot things was there? and everyone um, coming out of the limo did some pilot thing oh, or yeah, a windmill I'm done with the thing. pilot puns. Can we just be like, hey, this is what he does as a job and just sort of leave it at that? Although I think he's always going to take someone up in an airplane. 
all the time, which is great. Why wouldn't you? That's like Lady oh. Boner Central right there. Dude, and if he has a plane, said, if he Boner. owns... <laughs> I said, bitch. I didn't mean to, but I said Lady Boner. You bitch. I know you hate that word. <laughs> hate the word, girls. Now, for production value, I go there sometimes too. If he owns a plane, yeah. they're just going to, they're going to totally exploit that because oh, they don't have to buy the fucking plane. Like, of course. And you get those views. Yeah. They're going to have them go up in the they plane They always all have the people time. in planes and helicopters. They do. So, of course, they're going to exploit that. Yes. Like crazy. Yes. I'm interested. I, the biggest thing, I mean, of course, it ended on a bang, right? And the, the clips for next show was just very dramatic. Mm. So, it ended with him, like, it ended on an awkward date, an awkward group date. Sure. Right? It said, this is going to be awkward. Mm -hmm. And Hannah was on stage talking to all the girls about her... And Peter and their dating history, like, hey, we went on these dates. And then we bang not once, not twice, but four times in the windmill. Mm -hmm. Like three times a night and once in the morning <laughs> is what she said. And all these girls are like, cool, we don't care. Cool. Why are you here? What the fuck is going on? Yeah. And then she goes in the back room and starts to cry. And so here's the thing, too. This is not her after Dancing with the Stars. This is her before Dancing with the Stars. Oh, yeah, because they this is, film like This is immediately right after, after yeah, yeah, yeah. her bachelorette. So this is yeah, right yeah. after Jed broke her heart. This is okay. immediately right after she asked out Tyler. And Got like, it. He kind of said he no. He kind of went out with Gigi Hadid. Yeah, yeah and then this blow. is also after like she's kicking herself for making the wrong decision, and she's still in a very emotional state because the whole world's crumbling around her. And so to me, because I'm sitting there going, girl, you were on top of the world I after know. Dancing with the Stars. Okay. But this is in the mid This it. is before this. Yeah, I forget that they just churn these things Yeah, they out, turn dude. them around. Yeah. So they get them right back into the mansion after they leave, basically. Yeah. So he asked her to come back. Like, he, you can tell he was dealing with the struggle of it because he was kind of like, why did you ask Tyler on a date? Why didn't you ask me? Mm -hmm. And she was like, well, he reached out to me. You didn't. And he's like, do you ever regret your decision? Do you ever miss me? And he was like gauging stuff, right? You can tell he obviously still likes her. Obviously, dude. They and just like, fucking broke up. He's trying to pull for some stuff out of her because she's like sitting there going, dude, I want you to be happy. I want you to have your own show, but this is hard. Then get the fuck out of here. But then he asked her to come back. He asked her to, to come stay. on his show. I know. They, do they show what she says? They tease that. They tease it. Okay. And they show a bunch of girls upset by it. And that's really it. That's how that's it ends. It. And of course, they have to leave, leave you on a cliffhanger. Because he's so boring. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, oh my God. This, it shows like this. So, I will tell you, the whole premise of the show, when you think about it, oh, is truly so fucked awful. up. Right? It's so awful. Kelly Ripa famously is just like, hate. she's on the same network, but she hates the fucking show. She's just like, That's she so won't have she any ha of The Bachelor. Well, she, she had Hannah she on. Has ha and she Hannah had on. held her own, but she wouldn't have anyone else on. She always just talks shit and like, what are you fuck? She's like, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. This is so fucking stupid. You set women back fucking ages. Like, what is the well, deal? Well, women and men too. Like, you know what I mean? But it started yeah. with women, yeah. right? But when you think about it, you have one guy. He's dating 30-something women at the same time making out with 15 to 20 of them in a night like anyone in the right mind would be like hail to the now nah. mm -hmm. right yeah so if you're dating a guy and you guys start kind of talking and it's getting serious of course you're gonna want an exclusive if you found out he was talking to 15 other girls you're gonna be like excuse me yeah but this show is just like be okay with it and let's just get drunk and by the way everything's so sped up yeah i don't get this oh. Girls are catching feelings and like falling in love second, third, fourth days. But they do, they have, you know, psychologists working on this fucking show behind the scenes. Like I told you where they go, they do these bonding things and the drinking and the pitting each other against each other and like building him up. And they do all these things. I think genuinely these girls do feel this. Are they manipulated into feeling this? Yes. But um yeah i mean the whole think, thing is I mean, like a month i know that's what i was gonna say so do you like think it's really week, the right way to fall in love with someone that apparently you're gonna spend the rest of your life with because let's look at the no let's look at the it's statistics of actually how many stay together right so There's so like many women romanticize the bachelor and bachelorette when in reality if that ever happened to them they they would their world would be torn apart Right, but you know I mean? right now in the the machine of the Bachelor Bachelorette, um, it is a win win in a way. So you know, there's people that 
have made whole careers off just no, being have. on The Bachelor. So in a way, and they're mostly actors. So that's why it's like fashion blogger, entrepreneur, you're a fucking actor yeah. and you put in your headshot and now you're on The Bachelor. So you either a lot of times I do all, feel like become, it's... you know, you either make it to the end and people know who you are or you make yourself memorable and you get, you know, Deals. a million Instagram followers from it. So it is a it is a win win for other people. There's all these other things involved with it. Well, then um, how do you know someone's there really for the right reasons to try to fall technically in love? You know well, what I mean? Well, there you go. That's why they say it all the time. Because poor Are dude. you here for the right reasons? I don't think she's here for the right reasons. What are yeah. the right reasons? <laughs> I don't know. I heard her talking about this is not the right reasons. I'm not here I to mean, make friends. Poor Peter. I feel like, well, I mean, he, that dude wears his heart on his sleeve. So to me, if there is. Oh, he's going to cry so many times. In this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Really how do you hard do? To watch. How do you do with guys crying? Not great. You don't. No. Um. And stuff. Definitely not about things like this. Mm -hmm. You know, like if oh, you've got like, some like real tragedy of, yeah. going on, like absolutely, I would love for you to be in touch with your feelings. But if you're crying about girls fighting over you and like the hard decisions you have to make, life is gonna get a lot more fucking rough for you down the line, buddy. That's and if good. we're gonna That's cry over part. making like decisions. Dude, this guy has a stressful job. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, he's transporting hundreds of people daily from point A to point B, trying to keep, you know, alive and, like, deal with the weather and everything. Like, it's not an easy job. Right. So, to me, I'm sitting there in my head going, I hope he deals with stress well, but I also think he's very emotional. Yeah. Which is why some girls really love him, because he's super transparent. You know what? I think I'm going to turn you to my side. <laughs> By the end of the show... One of us will feel a different way, right? By the, uh, no, by I'm the not end of the to show, you otherwise, I'm just stating. No, I know. What I I'm think. just. No, I am. So by the end of the show, I'll either love him, yeah. and we'll both love him, or you'll hate him, and we'll both hate him. <laughs> you know what I mean? I didn't say that. I Wait, there's loved no him. way that we can be divided. I the didn't whole say I show. loved him. I'm indifferent. Like I think he has very great qualities, and I think he's really genuine, and I think that he's gonna love someone super fully. Where I think some of these other guys have came in with some issues that they might have had this guy's gonna be like listen i'm gonna give you my full heart and i admire that i respect right. that right. i don't think i think other guys maybe are a little bit more cautious or they're players or whatever else yeah i will say this though he's very physical he's very very physical he's always been obviously you know banging chicks and windmills obviously, four or five bro. times obviously but uh so i can but see you know who <laughs> i can see this being an issue though later on i can see him being very intimate with a lot of the girls on the show being able to have sex four times is a very feminine thing, right? What do you mean? I don't oh, know. Like, like you're saying girls can only have sex really four times? Yeah, just like keep fucking having orgasms. They, they like, didn't say, wait, wait, wait. They didn't say that. Like, I don't know how long they were there. In there. A night and a morning. So what I'm saying is maybe they, maybe he like, maybe the first time was wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. And he was like, oopsies. And then like, he was like, hey, give me an maybe. hour. And they like talked and then he like tried again. And then he, maybe it was like a buildup. And then in the morning, of course, like, I don't know. Who knows? Like, they're not going to go Who into knows? detail about it. Who knows? But most girls, let's just say all the girls are splooshing in them pants because of that. <laughs> we have to retire that. Nope. I'm, show. I will keep saying it. <laughs> That and Lady Boners. This is, this is what I say. <sighs> so, well, Bachelor Nation. Oh, my gosh. Oh, boy. Bachelor yeah, we're not going to talk about it every time, but we'll we definitely won't. check in uh, with The Bachelor. And, you yeah. know, if something really crazy happens, we're going to have to address it. Yeah. But that's our initial thoughts. I know. And I, we're excited. I mean, we're excited for it. I like watching The Bachelor. Ross watches The Bachelor. Chris, Chris watch watches The me. Bachelor. Like, and not like excitedly, but he'll watch it with me because it makes him look good as a dude. Oh, yeah. And then he'll also make really funny comments about certain things and like point out the obvious. The best part and of it. And we bond off of it. And he's just making fun of it the whole time while I'm watching it going, yeah, I know. Yeah. And that's really about it. Um, I don't really watch many TV shows, but I will watch housewives and this one like for some reason these are like some of my guilty pleasures where i'm just kind of like who live for sure let's see for sure so and if you don't watch it that's fine I mean, yeah you could you know what it reminds me of i don't know if i told you this before but the bachelor it like goes back in history like back in history for me so when i was really really young like young teenager you know what i mean or maybe it was i don't know how old i was but my mom and my sister would would all watch it together I love that. And See, I, you have. And so when I was at boot yeah. camp, 
my mom wrote me letters, right? And About she would give me updates oh, on the awesome. corner of the letters and be like, hey, by the way, like, you know, Eric or whatever, pick so-and-so and so-and-so. I can't believe he sent her home. So it was something for me. Yeah, yeah. That's just like we did when we were younger because we liked doing it with my mom. Yeah. And now it's just kind of like, it's fun. And some of my girlfriends and I talk about it. And that's really about it. Yeah. I don't, I don't, know, what it, I don't know what it is that we like the Housewives and The Bachelor and – it's something about our chemistry and the guys fucking can't stand it. Mm -hmm. I don't, I actually don't know what that is, I but uh, I just go with it. I don't mind watching the drama unfold on TV. Don't like I just don't part like it. it in my life. And maybe that's so it. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why. I have no idea. Cause I don't want that. I don't no, want to start life. stuff like that. And all of those things, like if they were happening in my real life, like any of those fights or anything, or if they were happening in my real life, I would be devastated and like really I would hate it so sure. much. Maybe I also like sitting there and just judging people I can on TV. Yeah, me too. <laughs> and making comments and just That's whatever. really the answer, but I didn't want to say that, but that's true. Me well, too. I said it. Well, I said it. Well, I said it. Um, all right, let's get to the drinking broette yeah. of the week. Um, do I have one? Do you have one? You have one. I do, huh? And well, we'll okay, get, yeah, go ahead. We'll say, we'll, say we'll get to these, like, so while you get yours... Um, we are so excited to get your guys' submissions for Drinking Bruettes of the Week. You guys can send them to us um, via Facebook, Instagram. Um, we'll set up an email for you guys, too, if you guys want to send them to us. But basically what you guys are going to be doing is just give us a little tidbit um, story of this individual who you want to nominate and give us a little background. And uh, we'll rummage through them weekly and pick one each week and shout you guys out and talk about this amazing person that you guys think deserves some credit. Yeah. Um, so, oh, God. I don't fucking know. I mean, know. we can say your mom right now because your mom's a winner in my book. She's helping us out. Yeah. So um, I guess we can say, or by now, maybe not. Um, so we can say that we're, we're going to be at SHOT Show. Yeah. And we're going to go to the drinking broette of the week to my mother. She's my lovely mother. D Wiseman. Um, she is really, really awesome with my kids. And she is the kind of grandma mom that you hope for mm -hmm. where when you have kids for sure, when you need help, she comes and is just like, give me that baby. Give me the laundry. Give me the dishes. You go. She wants you to like relax. You She's gotta not. Love that. Yeah. And you'll find, you'll find when you, you know, when you get to that stage that there are, you know, grandmas, moms, mother-in-laws, mothers that uh, aren't always that helpful. They are mm -hmm. and they aren't, right? And it's been a long time and maybe they don't want to get back into that world and maybe they do. But she is and has been just always really amazing with the kids and an awesome mom and I am doing what I'm doing right now because of all the times that she's come out and helped me and Aww. stayed for weeks and stayed with the kids while I'm like babies, two babies yeah. while I'm off trying to like get this thing going. So there you go. And because Took of her, a second. and because she's of coming her. to Vegas. So she's coming here. Oh, she's coming here. She's coming here yeah. with the kids. And then I'm going to be able to go to SHOT Show and we will obviously give you guys updates on that once yeah. so this will be launched but we're just gonna be out there we're gonna try and get some interviews we're gonna awesome hang out mix out it up if you guys are going please message us yeah um our facebook is drinking broettes podcast mm -hmm. um we have instagram drinking broettes podcast and this show is available on all the things spotify itunes and youtube we're gonna be on the drinking bros banner so we're gonna be like the female we gotta energy give it some, there. We gotta give it some estrogen, we man. We gotta give it some energy. Oh my gosh, I you know. guys. I don't know how you fucking deal that with all these dudes energy. all the time. Yeah. Whew. So, thank you so much for listening. And you are where everywhere? The real Tiffany Hart. The real Tiffany, Tiffany Hart. Hart. I am. It's not the fake one. Not the fake one. I'm Jesse Wiseman on all the bullshits. Thank you so much. And good morning, good evening, good night. Good night. Good afternoon. See ya. Yeah, you've been watching every move and plotting your next move on every girl I'm moving on. Yeah, don't y'all better things to do. Yeah, go buy some fucking shoes. Yeah, you're irritating. Yeah.
Just say